Hey folks, it's Sydney from LangChain. I'm about to show you how to prevent a very expensive mistake. We are talking about the moment where your agent decides to call the same tool 500 times in a row and you're just sitting there watching your API quota evaporate. It happens and it's preventable with LangChain's new tool call limit middleware. So first let's do a quick recap of the core agent loop. An agent is basically a model calling tools until it decides to no longer call tools and return a final result. We change the flow of this loop just a little bit if we want to add tool call limits in. So you'll see we've added an extra middleware node after the model calls tools, but before the tools themselves are executed in order to enforce those limits on specific tools. All right, so for today's example, we're gonna be talking about a shopping agent. So our shopping agent is equipped with two tools, a search items tool and a purchase items tool. The search items tool in this case just returns some information about a set of headphones that are available. And the purchase item tool simulates purchasing an item with a given ID. Then we have a simple prompt here that will feed to our agent. And then here's our basic uh, agent. So the one thing that's missing here is the tool call limiting middleware. In this case, I think we probably want to limit the number of items that our agent can purchase, uh, perhaps both on the run level and the thread level. So at the run level, I think it would be best if our agent could only make one purchase at a time. So we wanna prevent it from making multiple parallel tool calls to that purchase tool. And then at the conversation level, I think we don't want the agent to be going crazy with purchases. So maybe just for this demo, we'll say, we want to limit it to two purchases per conversation. In a more real life scenario, that would both be higher. So let's go ahead and add this middleware. It's just a couple lines of code. Great. So here we've added our tool call limit middleware. You can see we're keying on the tool name with purchase item. And then we have set our run limit to one and our thread limit to two. So first I'm going to ask our agent if it can find us the best headphones for under $300. Looks like we're seeing the tool call to the search items tool, the successful result, and then a nice summary from the model here. Next, let's ask the model if it can purchase maybe uh, this, this one looks better, the Bose Quiet for headphones. Great, so we see a call to that purchase item tool, and then our thread tool call count is at one, which makes sense, and we see the successful purchase. So I believe we set our thread tool call count to three. So I'm going to ask it to purchase those headphones two more times um, and see if we can run into that limit. Great. So we see another pair of those headphones. And then let's do one last one. Great. So here we're seeing the expected behavior. I've asked it to purchase me a third pair of those headphones. We see the call to purchase item, which is actually interrupted with an artificial tool message saying, tool call limit exceeded, don't call purchase item again. And then the model kind of intuitively responds and says, it's like we've hit our limit. So let's see if I asked it again, uh, what would happen? So it actually doesn't even make the call to the purchase item tool, which is the behavior lo we're looking for. Separately, let's see if we can run into that run scoped tool call limit, which we set at one purchase per invocation. So I'm asking our agent, please buy me three pairs of the best headphones under $300. So it looks like our model called the search items tool it got the results for the available phones. It proceeds to purchase the higher rated headphones and it calls the purchase item tool three times. In this case, we see three tool messages in response. We see one successful purchase here and then two block tool calls because we've hit the run tool call count limit. We also see that the model correctly intuits what's going on here. It successfully purchased one pair, um, but there was an issue purchasing additional items. Before we wrap up, 
I'd like to summarize all of the configuration options available for this middleware. middleware. So we have three main things that you can configure. One is whether or not you're setting a limit for all tools or individual tools, by tool name that is. The second is the scope of the limits. So you can either set limits on a run, which is like one invocation of your agent. So that would be with one human message, for example. And this is helpful for limiting things like parallel tool calls or long running tool call loops. And then we also have thread or conversation scope limits. And so that's over a longer chat history with the same agent. Finally, we offer some exit behavior settings. So the default is what we call continue, which means that if a given tool has exceeded its limits, we just patch in tool messages and the agent is allowed to resume and call any other pending tools. Uh, and then we ask the agent not to call said tool any longer. In the end case, we actually jump straight to the end of the agent loop injecting artificial tool and AI messages to keep a valid chat history. And then for the error case, we raise an error as soon as a tool threshold. This has been a quick demo of LinkChain's new tool call limit middleware, which you can use to limit tool calls either globally or at the tool level itself, both across single agent invocations and across long conversations. Thanks.